Welcome to Driver's Dive in the Nav. Today is gonna be a super fun taste test. I'm literally so excited for this one. First things first, yes, my voice is still hoarse from the cold. Y'all saw that in my subway video. <laughs> I just sound a little sexier and a little more like I drive a pickup truck and I drink beer out of a woman's ass. <laughs> Today, I am taste testing Guy Fieri's Restaurant Chicken Guy. This is it. This is it. I'm sure y'all know who Guy Fieri is. He's the one on Food Network that has like a thousand shows, like Driving Stoppers and Drives and a bunch of others. That's literally him. Do you see it? I see the resemblance. He opened a restaurant very near my house. It is brand new, so I've never eaten there. It's sort of like a Chick-fil-A type of vibe, but with more sauce and hopefully less homophobia. <laughs> they have things like mac and cheese, chicken tenders, chicken sandwiches, loaded fries. It sounds like good food, like food that goes straight to my ass cheeks and makes my asshole like real swollen and small because my big cheeks are squeezing it together and suffocating it. It's gonna be great. Now, I did try to get almost the whole menu. I couldn't get everything because it is on the pricier side of fast food. It's kind of like Chick-fil-A prices, but I did get probably 80% of the menu. I'm not joking, I got most of it. I left out the salads, the milkshakes, one sandwich, and a few kids items, but I think I got literally everything else. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna tell y'all everything I got, but before we do that, hit that subscribe button to become a juicy tomato and hit that ding dong notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a video. Thank you. So some of the names of the sandwiches sound a little confusing, but I will tell you exactly what they are as I taste test them. Okay, so I got the Big Bite, B-L-A-T, a sandwich, loaded fries, loaded Mac Daddy Mac and Cheese. I'm not joking, it's called Mac Daddy. One of Mac Daddy. I got grilled cheese from the kids menu because that was the only menu it was on and it came with a fruit cup, so we stay on health. <laughs> And then I got crispy chicken tenders, grilled chicken tenders, a bourbon brown sugar barbecue sandwich, the CG classic sandwich, American coleslaw, plain Mac Daddy mac and cheese, so it's the non-loaded version, fried pickle chips, and chicken guy fries, which are fries. So, we have a lot to taste test, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited and if you stand Mr. Fieri. <laughs> By the way, this is not sponsored at all. No offense to Guy Fieri, but if something is disgusting, I'm gonna say it's disgusting, okay? Let's start unboxing everything. So, all the packaging looks very well branded, very sleek and nice. It looks kind of like Chick-fil-A, but like a little fancier and a little more like Manish, if that makes sense. Yes, y'all, I pulled out those gender rules. I mean, this font says I roll around in dirt like a man. So what is this? Let's see. This is a sandwich. I see it has guacamole on it, bacon, some weird mayonnaise sauce. This actually looks incredible. This looks really fancy and really high quality. I'm shook. Look at that grill circle on the bun. <laughs> this looks really good. Wow. Okay. Oh my God, y'all. These are the fried pickles. That looks so good. Y'all know me. I'm a pickled bitch and I love pickles. They smell Kind of like a hush puppy. Now this is another sandwich. Whoa, these all have like real fancy toppings. <laughs> Not fancy. <laughs> this has potato chips. <laughs> High class. This has potato chips and orange sauce, some kind of coleslaw. Wow, these sandwiches look so good. Of course, don't worry, y'all are gonna see everything close up. So this is the loaded mac and cheese. This looks incredible. It smells like a really delicious hamburger helper, but like in a good way, like I love hamburger helper. There's tons of toppings like chicken, bacon, oh my God. This looks so good and it's a really big serving. Now this was pricey, I will get into that soon. Now these must be the loaded fries. Ooh, so I think it's the same toppings as the mac and cheese, but with fries under instead. Looks so good. Now I think this is the normal plain mac and cheese you can get as a side. Smells, mmm. What does it smell like? Almost like an actual slice of cheese, like sharp cheddar or something, I don't know. Very sharp and nice, wow. And it's a nice little heavy serving. Now, I also got coleslaw. Y'all know I'm not the biggest coleslaw fan, but it was cheap. <laughs> so I was like, let me add that too. And I have liked a few coleslaws in my day, so who knows if I'll like it. it smells okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, it smells good, but I don't wanna lie. The fruit cup that goes with my grilled cheese. <laughs> this is another one of the sandwiches. Okay, this one looks like it's probably the simple one compared to the other two. Um, I just see chicken, lettuce, some kind of orange sauce, and pickles. So we'll see how that one tastes. Oh, <laughs> it just broke its chicken breast. Now these are, oh 
my god. These are the grilled tenders. Look at these. Um, that looks incredible, honestly. Grilled tenders from other restaurants usually look very plain and under-seasoned and not appetizing. These are like a damn kebab. Look how seasoned and grilled this looks. Are you kidding me? They all look like that. Oh my god, I'm literally snatched. And they smell like chili powder. They smell so good. So these are the normal chicken tenders. They're just crispy, nice and fried. They look kind of dark, maybe overly fried. I hope not. They smell very seasoned, like chili powder also. We love that. There's three of them in here, but they're pretty big. Last but not least, we have the kids grilled cheese. It is in a box in a box. It smells incredible. It smells like a really good grilled cheese. And it looks pretty good too. So my plain fries are missing. Don't worry, I'm gonna get my coin back. Not a big deal. But I have the loaded fries, so I'm not that sad about it. Oh, by the way, sauces. So this place is like very focused on sauce. The boss of the sauce, see? And they have so many sauces. Like I'm talking over 20, I think. I'm not sure, but I think. I got five of them because they all do cost extra. So I was like, I'm already spending so much coin. I'm just gonna get five. I mean, four of them did come free with the two tenders. So I didn't spend extra coin, but I just didn't want to spend even more coin. You know what I mean? Anyways, I chose their Chipotle Ranch, of course. Buttermilk Ranch. Nashville Hot Honey. That sounds really good. Buffalo, of course. Y'all know I'm a basic bitch. And Chipotle Lime Mojo. Now, I love mojo. I am a Cuban. I grew up eating mojo. Mojo is like a limey, garlicky sauce you can put on everything. So yeah, everything looks incredible. I'm gonna get the food set up, get my thumbnail, get my close-up shots, and then we will taste test everything. And of course, at the end of the video, I'm gonna rank all the items from worst to best, in my opinion, to see which is my favorite. Anyways, let's go. Okay, let's taste test everything. Now, seeing all the food laid out like this, I'm like, damn. Presentation is on point. Everything looks truly delicious. Everything looks like a promotional photo. So I'm very impressed with that. Let's kind of part the chicken seas right here and just make some room for me to taste test things. So first things first, I wanna taste test something kind of simple so I can try all the sauces. So I'm going to first try the grilled chicken tenders, okay? It was $5.99, that is very similar to like a Chick-fil-A price. So it is pricey, but other places do it too, so I don't know. Let's first try this tender by itself. Mmm. Um, that is the best grilled tender I've ever had in my life. It's the only grilled tender that actually has flavor. It has very smoky grilled taste to it, obviously. And I can taste so many seasonings, probably like garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, chili powder. Very flavorful. Wow. I'm so impressed. Now let's try it with all the sauces. First ranch. Now this is a very thick ranch. Like it's full of maybe dill or something. A bunch of little herbs. Super thick. Let's try it. Mmm. Y'all know I'm a ranch whore. I love restaurant ranch. This is delicious. It is very mayonnaise-y, but in a good way. The flavor is not like a salad ranch. It's much more along the lines of a buffalo wing ranch, if that makes sense. They do kind of taste different from each other, right? Um, wow, that is incredible ranch. Okay, now let's try it with the Chipotle ranch. Bitch! Oh my god. It's like that ranch with a little more kick. What the hell got here? Stop it, Johnny. I'm seeing visions of bleached hair and I, I'm falling in love. Now let's try this one. I think it's called Nashville Hot Honey. So that's very interesting. Mmm. Ooh. Okay. So, ooh, spicy. It's like, it tastes like a spicy duck sauce almost from like Panda Express, you know what I'm talking about? Very good. Now let's try this, this um, cumin lime mojo. I don't like that one. No. Mm-mm. Not eating any more of that. Ooh. Ooh. It just tastes like oil. It doesn't taste like mojo. I don't like it at all. Oh. Ooh. Wow, that winning streak ended pretty quick. <laughs> Last but not least, let's try what was this? Oh, this is buffalo. Y'all know I love buffalo. Ooh. 
Oh wow, that's a very sweet buffalo sauce. I don't like blue cheese, but it does have a slight blue cheesy flavor, but it's not like bad. It's like a cheesy tanginess in it. Very good, so these four sauces slay me. I've used them the whole video, bitch. So good, my favorite is the Chipotle Ranch. Wow. Um, I'm just gonna finish these, I'm sorry. I think I said to say that the first item destroyed me. Wow. Can't wait to try everything else. So next up, let's try the plain mac and cheese. Let's see what the price was. This Mac Daddy Mac and Cheese side was $3.99. Now that is a bit pricey for a side. I personally think it should have been $2.99, but that's just me. It looks very um, home cooked and very Southern. It has like breadcrumbs on top, all that. Let's try it. Whoa, hmm. Okay, so wow. It tastes completely homemade. The texture of the sauce is very Flowery. It has great cheese flavor and noodles are great. It's perfection, but there's something special about it There's like a tang in there. I'm wondering if it's like mustard. It's something sour which you would think would be gross with mac and cheese It is bizarre And I love it. Wow <laughs> Destroyed y'all it seems like I'm being too nice to this place. No, it's really that good so far next up Let's try one of the sandwiches. Let's do the most simple sandwich, which is the CG classic They have four sandwiches on the menu. I got three out of four. So there's the sauce boss, which is basically lettuce, onions, pickles, and your choice of two signature sauces on the sandwich. That is the one that I skipped. Uh, and then there's the CG classic, which I did get. It's like the next level simple one. <laughs> Does that make sense? It has cheddar, special sauce, and lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and pickles. And then I got the other two as well, which are the bourbon brown sugar barbecue, which has pepper jack, bourbon brown sugar barbecue sauce, special sauce, slaw, pickles, and barbecue kettle chips. And then I also got the Big Bite BLAT, which is crispy smoked bacon, lettuce, avocado crema. So that's not just plain avocado, that's avocado crema. Tomatoes and buttermilk ranch. Now, of course, all these sandwiches have a big piece of fried chicken on them. Those are the three sandwiches I got. Let's first try the simple one, which has their special sauce on it, which I cannot wait to try. Let's taste it. That is incredible. Y'all know chicken sandwiches are not my favorite. Usually I think that most of the time the chicken doesn't go with the bread. Like the bread is either too sweet, but this chicken sandwich, I will say it's one of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had. I'm shocked. The chicken inside is so crispy and so delicious and so flavorful. It has like seasonings in it. The special sauce is like Big Mac sauce, but sweeter. All the toppings taste super fresh and the bread is so good. It tastes freshly baked. This crustiness on top is everything. I am so shook. By the way, sadly, I think there's only two locations because um, I checked their website um, to try to find the calories. I couldn't find the calories, but I checked it and it said the one near me in South Florida and then I think it said Orlando. Was it Orlando? I'm not sure. Anyways, got the area? You need to let everyone taste this, please. Mm, I'm a mess. Okay. I'm being destroyed right now. Guy Fieri is a Timmy destroyer. Next up, let's do the simple grilled cheese. So this grilled cheese does come with a fruit cup. It's on the kids menu and it's $4.99. So I feel like that's a normal kids menu price, right? I think it's literally just bread and cheese. Oh. Oh. It's a bun inside out. That's odd. I mean, it looks good, but it's just odd. I guess to make it look more appetizing, because if it's like the other way, it just looks like a burgerless burger. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. So it is very salty, but like in a good way. It tastes very buttery, and the cheese has a lot of flavor. The bun tastes great with it as well. The one issue is that the cheese doesn't really stick to the outside of the bun because it's a it's a bun. Do you get me? So when you dissect it, it looks kind of unappetizing. Now, it tastes good, so I guess that's what matters, but I do think it's odd. It doesn't have its own bread. Like maybe put it on some sourdough guy theory, you know, I don't know. So it's all right. Would I get it again? No. Would a kid like it? Probably. Next up, let's try the fried pickles. They are calling my name. 
I'm gonna try them with all the sauces, of course. So they look pretty crispy. They don't look that greasy, which is good. Like there's no shine to them. They look very dry in a good way. Let's first try it with the ranch. Oh, I should try it by itself, right? Mmm. Mmm. Hold on. Let me try it by itself. Mmm. Ooh. A little bit spicy. Okay, so fried pickles are never as good as they sound. It sounds incredible like a fried pickle, but when you taste it, it's good, but it's never great. So these aren't great, but I will say they're the best fried pickles I've had. Past ones have been not good at all. These are good. I'm just still not destroyed by them because they are fried pickles. Let's try it with the Chipotle range. Oh. Mmm. Chipotle ranch is the best sauce that I got. Well, wow. let's try it with this Nashville hot honey. Mmm. Mmm. They're so good with that one. It almost gave it like a Asian chicken flavor because of the breading. Let's try it with the buffalo. That's too much going on. There's too many strong flavors. So for fried pickles, these are very good. Still not snatched though. And I do think they go best with the Chipotle Ranch. I forgot to check the price of the pickles. Oh my god. The fried pickle chips were only $3.99. That's not bad at all. They gave me a lot of them too. Now let's try the American cauliflower. The coleslaw was $2.99. That's a good price for a side. I see some purple like, um, what's this called? Radishes? I don't even know. Carrots, cabbage. Let's try it, y'all. No. 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 I don't think so. Honestly, it tastes just like KFCs, just a bit crunchier. Um, recently I did have a coleslaw that I liked, but where was it from? I forget. I really liked it. I don't remember, but I liked one of them. This one, I don't like. Sour God, it's not at the label. Donald Trump is a tire. Next up, we're gonna try the loaded mac and cheese. So guys, this is so heavy. Like, now, right, this is on their shareable sides menu, so it's basically like an appetizer you can share with people. It says, smothered in SMC. What does that mean? SMC? Maybe it's like a cheese sauce, because I see cheese sauce here. I don't even know. Chopped crispy chicken, bacon, and green onions. Okay. I want to get everything in one bite. Oh my god, I'm so ready. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that is one of the best things that has ever entered my mouth hole. Truly 100% incredible. The tangy mac and cheese with the flavorful fried chicken, this cheese sauce stuff on top, the green onions, the bacon, everything goes so well together and every aspect of it tastes on point. I am shook, I am destroyed, and it's truly one of my favorite things I've ever eaten on my channel. It's that bitch, y'all. It is the Beyonce of appetizers. I'm shook. Literally never the same. <laughs> What a moment, a moment most pleasing to my career. Oh yes, the price, by the way, that was $7.99, so $8, but truly, totally worth it. I would pay $10, I will pay $16 for that incredible damn guy. Next up, let's do another one of the sandwiches. Let's do the Big Bite B-L-A-T. It is the one with the avocado crema on it. So yes, the avocado crema really does just look like guacamole to me. I don't know what avocado crema means. When you hear that, like you picture more of like a sauce, but I don't know. They put a whole lot of big bacon pieces on it. A lot of chicken. There's some kind of a herb sauce underneath, maybe the ranch. It looks a lot like the ranch actually. Let's try it. Hmm. The bread is great, the chicken's great, the bacon's great. But I don't think the sandwich has enough flavor. The avocado crema truly just tastes like mashed up avocados to me, not even guacamole, just mashed avocados. I don't know if it is that, that's just what it tastes like in my opinion. It really needs a pow. The other sandwich had that special sauce on it that really destroyed me. This is very tame. If you want something really plain tasting, get this. I personally wouldn't get it again. So, meh. And in theory, you could add sauces to any of these sandwiches, and they do have so many sauces, but I ordered the sandwiches the way that they're meant to be, you get me? By the way, that sandwich was $7. We only have a few items left, guys. We have this barbecue chip sandwich, the loaded fries, and the crispy chicken tenders. Let's do the loaded fries now. 
These loaded fries are $8 as well. Now, it doesn't feel like as much food as the mac and cheese one. It's just a lot lighter, but you know, mac and cheese is a lot more dense, so I get that. I'm pretty sure it's all the same toppings, including the cheese sauce, but just on top of fries. So I'm just gonna get a piece of chicken, some of these cheesy fries, and some bacon, perfect. Oh my god, oh my god, holy guy fieri, <coughs> these are incredible. Let me try one of these fries by themselves because I didn't get the chance before. Mmm, oh my god, these are great by themselves. So the fries are seasoned with like a chili powder-ish blend, very delicious. The cheese sauce goes with fries so well, I'm like destroyed. The chicken, the bacon, everything about this is so good. Now, between the loaded mac and cheese and the loaded fries, I think the mac and cheese outweighs them just a little bit because it's so rich, but these are still incredible. Oh my God, I'm gagged, gagged. Next up, let's do the chicken tenders, okay? So I've tried the chicken in a bunch of the sandwiches, all that stuff, but I haven't tried it by itself. I'm very excited. So the tenders were $5.99, once again pricey, but it's like Chick-fil-A prices, right? They are very large, very heavy, a lot larger than the um, grilled ones. Let's first try them by themselves. Mmm, mmm, wow. Those are delicious, truly. The quality of the chicken inside is perfection, very real tasting. At first, it tastes like normal chicken tender breading, but then the more you chew it, you get some hints of spice, and some hints of sweetness and saltiness. It's like very complex for a chicken tender. I'm not used to this. Very crispy, very delicious. I'm gonna try with all four sauces. Now let's try it with the ranch first. Mmm, not ranch. So well. Now let's try it with the um, Chipotle ranch. My favorite. Now with the Nashville hot honey. Oh, not so good with the tenders. Oh, that might be my favorite with the breaded tenders. It really gives me like a sweet and sour chicken vibe. Now, last but not least, with the buffalo. The more I eat the buffalo, the more weird it gets. I don't know if I love it that much as I did it before. But it's a little too cheesy tasting for me, but it's decent. So wow, these tenders are amazing. They go amazing with the Chipotle Ranch and the Nashville Hot Honey. Delicious. So now, last but not least, we have this barbecue sandwich, which was, I think, $7 also. So it's very soggy, which I'm fine with. It has a whole lot of sauce on it, so I'm expecting flavor. I'm gonna bite in right there because I see a chip. Let's go in. No, no, it's weird. It's all good, but the sauce is like a barbecue honey sauce. It's so sweet that it's almost dessert level sweet. And it really takes me out of the experience because I'm expecting like a sweet and savory moment. This is just giving me sweet. Even the sweet bitches need a little salt in their lives. It's all right if you like really, really sweet things, but it's too sweet for me. I'm not a big fan of it. Oh my gosh, so I tried everything. This truly slayed me, not sponsored at all, but Guy Fieri, damn, you did that. my door fixing my light my lights been, my lights been broken so thank you the socially awkward homeschooler in me jumped out I am now gonna rank everything from worst to best here we go okay so in worst place I'm gonna have to go with the coleslaw of course not a big fan of coleslaw but this one was not like anything better than KFC to be honest then I think I'm gonna have to go with the avocado crema sandwich it was way too bland like way too bland and then honestly I think the barbecue sandwich it was way too sweet Girl, way too sweet. And then I'll have to go with the grilled cheese. It was good, but a little too simple. Now y'all, I have to say, everything else that I had was truly amazing. And honestly, all of these next items deserve number one place, but that can't happen. So next I'm gonna have to go with the dill pickles. Very good for fried pickles, you know? And then I think, oof, the plain mac and cheese. So good, I just have to put it somewhere. And then the grilled tenders, amazing. And then the fried tenders. So good. And then I think the chicken sandwich, like the normal one, incredible. And then I think in second place, I'm gonna have to go with the loaded fries. 
And in first place, I'm gonna have to go with the loaded mac and cheese. There is nothing like this on the earth. I'm so shook by it still. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so snatched by this food. It was such a fun taste test. Everything was truly so good. Let me know in the comments below which item you would pick if you lived near a chicken guy. Maybe you do live near one, I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Go watch my last video. I ate Subway for a full week. It was crazy. I'll see you on the next video. I love you so much. Ooh.